this champion. Okay, so now there are charges that the Pune police has come out and made against the activists. Ten of them who have been arrested between the 6th of June and day before yesterday. What are these charges? And more importantly, how does the Pune police plan to prove all of them in court? What they have is a series of documents and letters which show a deeper conspiracy which even amounted to trying political assassination. Should we really believe that? The activists who have now been sent to house arrest by the Supreme Court suggest a conspiracy against them, based on fabricated letters. Letters and documents that level serious charges against them, of procuring weapons from neighboring countries, launching attacks against security forces, and even political assassinations like the 2013 Sukma massacre, where the entire top leadership of the Congress in Chhattisgarh was wiped out. But the authenticity of these letters is being questioned. The evidence conclusively points to the deliberate involvement and major role played by Varvara Rao, Arun Pereira, Varman Gonsalves, Sudha Bharadwaj and Gautam Navalka. I'm not saying that these two evidences are malified. I'm saying that you can create or concoct evidence. It's not difficult to do so. So when they say that they're going to produce new evidence, my question is why didn't you produce it before? After all, you don't arrest people till you have substantive evidence. So, where is the substantive evidence? So, where does the truth lie? Were these group of individuals really planning such a huge attack? Could the disparate group of activists come together to hatch such a sinister plot and even manage to get funds and sources to procure sophisticated weapons? These letters are hugely incriminating in nature. But are they also too fantastical to be true? The onus will be on the police to prove all they have said. With Pankaj Khelkar in Pune and Divyesh Singh in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today. Okay, let me introduce you to now our panel of guests. My colleague Sahil Joshi is live with us from Mumbai. We have activist Feroz Mithiborwala with us and leader of the BJP, China NC. Also Tushar Damgude, he's the complainant in the Bhima Koregaon case. He's joining us on the phone line. But let me start by asking you, China. All of this is fine. There are grave charges. There are letters which talk about a plot to carry out a political assassination, even assassinate the prime minister. How is all of this going to be proven? Well, Padmaja, if you have uh, belief in our police force and in intelligence agencies, I don't think you would raise these kind of questions. A lot of these so-called, as you have framed, and we have not even used this terminology, urban axles from what I gather the media has been referring to them as, uh, have been arrested in the past too. If there are uh, clear-cut cases and substantiated proof to prove that there have been uh, dealings with other countries, it could be Maoists in Nepal, it could be charges that there has been a particular kind of propaganda theory or witch hunt I think that these things need to be explored by investigative agencies and if there okay. are enemies so let me ask you a couple of questions and, and, and give a couple of clarifications before that first of all the phrase story. urban nexus has been used kind of by a number of BJP hunt. leaders and the police as well so the commissioner of police used the term urban axles, not coined by me, not used by me exclusively. That's point number one. Point number two, the investigation, according to the Pune police, started only after the Bhima Koregaon violence. Apparently, this exchange of letters has been taken from quite a while when they were talking about exchange of money, procuring weapons, even carrying out a Sukma-like attack where the entire top leadership of the Congress had been wiped out. So are you saying, had there not been the violence of the 31st of December, the police would not even have known what's going on? It's only as a result of the violence and the consequent investigation that the police even chanced upon the plot.
Look, there are six major aspects that the police have come up with charges. Now, we are not even bothered about the lame one which media has been trying to highlight that, oh, there was a propaganda uh, to assassinate the Prime Minister. The point is that if there are serious cases where information is brought to light, be it the Bhima Koregaon uh, uh, atrocity or post that, but sufficient evidence that comes into the public domain that this is an agenda to have a kind of attack where uh, weapons are being procured from Nepal and Manipur, where there is a certain kind of hand of certain uh, so-called intellectuals where they have an uh, agenda to dethrone a particular government Wait, are you saying there was a plot matter, to assassinate to the prime minister or unrest? not just I for my just for my uh, of clarification are you saying there was a plot to assassinate the prime front. minister or not because you just called it lame look if there is a plot to even target the Prime Minister, why shouldn't there be an investigation? If there is a plot to come up with a Rajiv Gandhi type of situation, why shouldn't there be an investigation? If weapons okay. are being brought from Nepal and Manipur, why shouldn't there be an investigation? If there is a Sukma style attack, of which course we there all should know be an of, investigation. Which has come My in the question media, is has been reported in all the prime dailies where there is an area of. Uh, look, you can contribute to a nation through your philosophy, through your ideology, through okay. your thoughts, through your uh, good actions or okay. for that matter through your viewpoint. Okay. But if you are here to destabilize anyone and if you are in touch with other so-called Naxal influences, okay. I think it is the prerogative of All the right. police. Alright, Feroz exactly respond to that and done. before that I want and to read out this letter that we have which has been written allegedly by Sudha Bharadwaj, although this letter says only Comrade Sudha. This three-page letter, I want to highlight a few important paragraphs allegedly written by Sudha Bharadwaj to a comrade Prakash. Now, what are the contents of this letter, Feroz Mithe Borwala? It says, Professor Sai Baba ko saza hone ke baad, urban cadre mein jo dehshat paida hui hai, uska prabhav rokne ke liye, Kashmiri algao vadiyon wala dwara vahaan ke ugrwadi sangathono aur unke parivarik sadasyo tatha patthar bazo ko diye jare package ke tehet, Hame bhi apne urban cadre ko dena chahiye, which basically means that the way a financial package is given to terrorists is facilitated to terrorists and stone pelters in the valley. We should have similar packages for our overground workers. That is another paragraph. Of course, it's a long letter, but para 4 says, Kashmir mein algao vadiyo se comrade Ankit aur comrade Gautam Navlakha ye sampark mein hai. Vaha dushmano dwara kiye ja rahe manavadikar hanan ke video, social media tatha media house ke madhyam se prasarit karwana, तथा पेलेट गन के बारे में सुप्रीम कोर्ट में चल रहे केस में लीगल एड देने का वो काम कर रहे हैं अगेन टू पैराफ्रेज व्हाट दिस लेटर सेज अलेजेडली इज दैट गौतम लखा गौतम नव लखा एंड अनदर कॉम्रेड अंकित इज इन टच विद पीपल इन कश्मीर टू हाईलाइट द एट्रोसिटीज बाय व्हाट दिस लेटर कॉल्स दुश्मन द एनिमी शाइना एंड सीज आर्गुमेंट इज व्हाई शुडंट दिस मेरिट अ क्रैकडाउन फिरोज मिठे बोरवाला Firstly, let me state that I clearly state, categorically state, that these letters, so-called letters on the assassination plot to kill our Pradhan Mantri Modi ji, hmm. are an entire fabrication of our intelligence agencies. They are a joke on this nation. You are saying the government is fabricating even, it? Totally, totally. The intelligence agencies have fabricated these letters, China. number one. Hmm. They, have been, they have been leaked to the media. They have not been produced in the court as evidence as yet. In fact, they have never been produced in the court as yet in terms of evidence against the people who have been uh, arrested. And the point is even senior investigating officers, retired intelligence officials have said that if there, is, there are such kind of letters that come to our notice, we don't leak them to the media, we investigate it. So before the investigation, this entire Bruha has taken over this entire country of a plot to assassinate Modi ji. Hmm. And we know from the background in, in Gujarat about these so-called plots which are always Fake and all these. Are you saying this letter by Sudha Bharadwaj is also fabricated by intelligence agencies? Yes, yes. Sudha China NC. Is a straight and up. Are you fabricating these letters? Sudha Bharadwaj. Sudha uh, China NC will not be aware of these fabrications. She's a mere BJP worker. She has no idea what's happening okay. at the level of Okay, nothing personal, please. She's only here to be as a spokesperson. Yeah, yeah, I'm just telling you that. And the second part being that Sudha Bharadwaj is a simple trade union worker. She's got nothing to do with all this China. what's happening in Kashmir. I do not. I do not agree with Gautam Naulakar's line of Kashmiri separatism. Let me make it clear. Hmm. But at the same time, there are human rights atrocities being committed by the Indian Army. There have been Supreme Court, uh, uh, you know, of the Poshpora uh, 
mass rapes that have occurred by the Indian Army. Okay, we are going to stay away from that topic because that's an entirely different debate. But China quickly respond to the charge, the direct charge that what you call damning evidence is fabricated by the agencies. China. Totally fabricated. Okay, we seem to have lost the line with China NC. Let me see if Tushar Damgude can hear me right now. Uh, the allegation is that all of this, your complaint, the subsequent letters, all of them are motivated. Tushar. Hello? Yes, there is an exam that your complaint and your evidence that you have to get out of it, you have to get motivated. That's what you are saying. Okay, in India, freedom of speech is किसी को जो भी कहना है वो कह सकते हैं मैं उनके इसका आदर रखता हूँ रिस्पेक्ट करता हूँ मैं वो कह सकते हैं नहीं पर आपको लगता है कि जो सारा एविडेंस अभी प्रोड्यूस किया गया है ये कोजेंट है ये बिलीवेबल है बहुत ओवर द टॉप नहीं है हाँ मैंने ऐसा सुना था पिछले बार मीडिया में कि पुलिस ने जो ये तो मेरा तो कोई एक पब्लिकेशन हाउस तो नहीं है कि मैंने कुछ छापा है और उधर से वो उनको पुलिस को हैंडओवर किया है कि आप ले लीजिए और उनको अरेस्ट कर लीजिए। ओके। ओके। सो लेट मी ब्रिंग इन पॉइंट नंबर टू एंड ऑन दैट आई वांट टू ब्रिंग इन साहिल। डी अदर ग्लेरिंग इनकंसिस्टेंसी इज दैट lodged immediately after the violence of Bhima Koregao and the second by Mr. Tushar Damgude on Mr. Tushar Damgude's complaint on which all of this action is taking place. What happened to FIR number one? Uh, you know, there are actually uh, three to four FIRs to happen uh, uh, after uh, Bhima Koregao case. The first FIR was against uh, Milind Ekbote, then there was an FIR against Sambhaji Bide and then there was an FIR against Jignesh Mewani and Umar Khalid uh, under section 153 and this particular FIR what we are talking about uh, from Tushar's complaint because Tushar filed a complaint suddenly on 8th of uh, January because he attended uh, uh, this particular function uh, the, the Elgar Parishad on 31st uh, on the 1st of uh, January uh, the riots happened because of the Bhima Korikav incidents the 2nd 3rd January there was a Maharashtra ban again uh, there was incidences of uh, you know uh, stone pelting and the uh, and the usual stuff which happens during the pun uh, called by the political parties uh, now uh, after that on 8th of january tushar suddenly realized that what he heard on 31st of december was inflammatory and he w uh, goes to the vishrambak police station and files a complaint this is where actually the question is being raised now this is a separate part now the first fir uh, by tu uh, the Tushar's complaint, after Tushar's complaint was 11th of on 11th of January, which was filed by uh, the uh, Pune police. That that complaint was converted into an FIR, uh, in which uh, Sudhir Dhawle, who was uh, pa who is part of uh, Kabir Kalamanch, uh, he and his uh, uh, supporters, uh, other people, some f four to five people, uh, were booked under 153A. That is making an inflammatory speech and creating uh, animosity between uh, the two communities. Uh, after that, actually, the investigation started. Hmm. And what we are hearing from the Pune police is that first they received, through the intelligence sources, one of the emails sent by uh, uh, some, uh, some comrade called Comrade M to Rona Wilson. Hmm. And, and which is that, when the entire uh, the, the whole cycle was, was set in motion, and which is why I want to Dima ask you, China, part number two, part two of this entire question which is being raised. First of all is the veracity of the evidence itself. Second, why wasn't the same alacrity shown for the investigation of Sambhaji Bhide and Milin Dekbote since the first FIR was against them as opposed to the set of people arrested right now? Arrest them by all means if you have the evidence. But what about those two people in the first FIR? First, the Pune police uh, has presented a confidential document in the court. So I refute the allegation to say that, oh, this is a, a certain kind of a, a, a sentiment which is propagated by certain people. That is absolutely false and untrue. Now, if you have an accused that is going against the nation, it needs to be proven in a court of law. And I don't think me sitting here or you sitting as the anchor can even announce or pronounce somebody guilty or innocent. The relevance of these letters, the authenticity of them 
in a court of law based on substantive evidence is the reason why the police chose to work on this particular case and to bring to the knowledge of people that whether it is even certain Hindu fringe groups which have been doing wrong they too need to be exposed and they have not been spared don't forget that whether it's the Sanathan Sansta or many other such cases where the Maharashtra state but China, government you still, has not you still haven't answered the question what all, about first FIR only based what about the first FIR the look the FIR that has been lodged obviously there is investigation underway we need to understand that in a process of law it's not an instant verdict to Firoz suggest that Borbala. somebody is guilty or innocent and one is innocent until proven guilty so it does take its own time and if you're going to believe that there are certain kind of elements that are working to destabilize okay, Sahil has a there question are a lot of agencies that are working to stabilize Sahil. too so why don't you applaud that and give them the actual I benefit the of doubt action. That but if the action seems to be selected, law, Sahil. The courts to decide. Sahil. This is not about. This is not. There's so many people that you have talked about who have been arrested during the regime of previous governments too. Sahil. Is that suggesting that this is some kind of a vendetta or which? Not at all. I and which is why we called out that hypocrisy. Yeah, I mean, but now we need to argument. question this you know, investigation as well. You know, Sahil. you know, pa you know, Padmaja, you know, Padmaja, I, 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 I. No, you know, I, I totally, I, to, I sometimes agree with certain points that yes, police should, uh, you know, do their investigation properly, and after that, uh, you, you should not immediately start questioning uh, even before the police files the charge sheet. But that's what BJP did when, in March 2008, uh, in, 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 in 2008, uh, after Malegaon 2008 blast, uh, Heman Karkare started arresting. Uh, uh, Sadhvi Pragya Singh Thakur and right. the whole that module. That time the BJP and Shiv Sena were on the grounds even before Heman Karkare could file the charge sheet. So, you know, uh, these exactly. all things that we should trust police and all that stuff depends on in which seat you are sitting and, uh, you know, uh, what kind of uh, investigation the police is conducting. Having said that, uh, there is one thing very clear. I mean, what Shaina said is also somewhat correct that this is not for the first time that people from the urban areas have been arrested by the investigating agencies in connection with the Maoist threat. Now, uh, you know, th there is a thin line between being a part of uh, activists who are supporting the Adivasis, the scheduled tribes, and they're fighting their causes. No, but how can you be certain when, uh, that you know, they are activists the, who are being framed? The pellet guns. One minute. One minute. One minute. Exactly. Let, let, me, let me just finish. So basically, there is a thin line. And now what the police is claiming is that these people have crossed that particular thin line, uh, especially when they talk about uh, Surendra Gadling, who hmm. was also a lawyer for GN Sai Baba. Uh, the police is claiming that they have got some emails and a communication with uh, uh, this comrade Prakash. And comrade Prakash is, uh, is, is, according to the investigating agencies, he is the communication guy for um, uh, General Secretary of CPI Maoist group. Uh, Ganpati. So his communication is handled by Comrade Prakash and who was also associated with GN Sai Baba. So okay. now they have got these emails and in which they were discussing about how to procure uh, uh, arms and ammunitions and how to generate this kind of unrest around. So that's why police thinks that whatever they Feroz have Mithi is authentic wants to come in. and they, they, final, they are claiming final, that final they have Final, final word from you, Feroz Mithi Borwala. And that is going to be really difficult actually, to prove in that. Uh, yeah, actually, I think I'll going by what the Supreme Pan Court... Maja. Yeah. Let me complete, you know, please. Can I just Let make a complete. limited point? No, Feroz Mithi Borwala first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, going by, in fact, yesterday the Delhi High Court nearly, uh, you know, let Naulakha go. That is how seriously the Delhi High Court has taken this so-called plot to assassinate the Prime Minister. The Supreme Court has said that let them be in under house arrest. So it is clear that there are certain doubts that exist within the judiciary itself about how grave this entire plot is. China. And I'm, and I'm really happy that China is talking about let the courts and let the police and all take, but China. the hype around Karkare's charge sheet, when they were out to kill him and they and finally Karkare died and nobody is discussing Karkare's charge sheet today. Okay, China. I just want to make a limited point, Padmaja. When you take Mr. Varavara Rao's case, please look back and go back in time to see how many times he has been arrested for how many different charges. Now, this is not just about a particular case that I'm highlighting here today on your television, hmm. but right since 1970s, 1980, he has been arrested on multiple counts. Now, if he is funding this kind of Maoism no, and this kind fine. of Naxalite movement, those people. and the is the so-called... Uh, so 
what about the others you, you, also no, named but you need in the to, same you case need to have faith and why in the, the selective is law and in investigative agencies because if you're going to question them and their intent it's going to be doing a disservice to the pune police force as well as all those who have worked tirelessly to BJP come up with this in evidence in the public domain no we do not need to we do not want but to question the intent at all all that we are saying is that if a crime has taken place the bima koregaon violence is a case for which there are more than these 10 people who have been named in fact some of these have not been named at all other than surendra gadling nobody has been named why isn't action being initiated against the people who were found equally culpable or at least the investigation should be carried out against them why the same alacrity not shown there is the limited point anyhow there are more details of this case which are coming out we'll keep you abreast with that for the timing thank you both gentlemen and china nc for joining us thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to